Okay, this video is just going to show a quick tutorial on how to enable on-screen display using the free overclocking software MSI Afterburner. I will include a link in the description to the software. Uh, once you bring it up, wait a few seconds, it'll pop up. Um, click save. Once you save it, install it. And then uh, once you install, run it. Um, here you go. Uh, your skin will look a little different. It'll be green with no dragon or black or something like that. But everything else is identical. So what you're going to want to do is come here to settings. Um, this is just overclocking stuff, GPU information. Come here to monitor or monitoring. Okay, and then find what you want to show on your on-screen display. So say GPU 2 power, you want to show that. Highlight it. Scroll down to this. Click show on show in on-screen display. Uh, once you do that, that's it. Go ahead and hit OK. Um, if you want to show the time and the on-screen display, it's right here, and whether or not the on-screen display will show up in captured screenshots and videos. And here's some hotkeys if you want to disable and, and enable the on-screen display while you're in-game. Once you get everything the way you want it, click OK and minimize that. And then uh, I'll just demonstrate it real quick, what it looks like. Uh, defaults to pink, which I kind of like because it makes it easy to see against pretty much any background. Sometimes it's kind of harder to see, but um, as you see here, uh, here's my GP1 and 2. Um, I have my the temperature it turned on, the usage, and the clock. And then frame rate is right here, CPU, temperature, and usage, and RAM, and of course the time. Those are what I use. You can use whatever you want, of course. Um, if you use some, if you use too many, it kind of gets cluttered and maybe a little bit harder to, to identify what exactly you're looking at. Um, if you have a whole bunch of things, you know, it'll come down way down here or it'll come across way over here. It gets a little distracting, but you know, fiddle with it, figure out what you want to do exactly. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Um, as you play, you, you'll see your temps change, uh, your usage and clocks change if you have any kind of, you know, hardware level overclocking. Um, frame rate depending on your system should stay locked to 60 or higher depending on the game and if you have any kind of uh, v-sync turned on uh, everything will kind of um, adjust a little bit here and there Ooh, don't want to fall uh, anyway um, that's it for this please like and subscribe if you want me to make more videos like this and uh, please leave a comment if this worked for you and if it didn't work for you and what kind of rig you got anyway uh, thanks again for watching